name is Meredith Lemkin. I'm a senior. I'm majoring in accounting and uh, I'm dancing for Delta Sigma Pi, my business fraternity. Well, I think um, when I was younger um, and I was going into fourth grade and my teacher went on maternity leave, we had this random sub for two months and I thought she was going to be like any other teacher, any other sub, like you just wouldn't really um, mean anything to me basically. But she always, she had this like weird like saying and like she always said, use your power of one. And like as a fourth grader, I had no idea what that meant. But um, getting to know her and like being able to like really understand what she like meant behind that, I think it always just meant to like keep doing things like, you know, if you want to make a change or a difference in the world, like you have to take any steps that you can to do it. And even if it's one person or a huge, huge group of people, like nothing should stop you from wanting to go and make a difference in the world. So I think that's something that I've always carried with me um, through high school, through college, and then coming to Penn State and being a part of DSP and walking into the BJC for my first thon, like, I just remember feeling tears and just thinking, okay, like, I know I want to be a part of this cause, but how do I want to do it? And back then I thought I wanted to be a DR captain. And um, even though that wasn't the route I ended up taking, I think I found my purpose when coming to Penn State and coming and being a part of DSP and being a thon chair. And it's one of the most, um, like, it's one of the most, like, rewarding positions I could have ever taken on. And it's something I'm going to miss so much about Penn State. I was very fortunate that up until I was 20 years old, I had three of my grandparents that still were living. And uh, September of my junior year, my, one of my grandparents passed away. And in that seven-month span, two, the rest of them had passed away. And it was one of the hardest years I'd ever had. Um, it was definitely hard going into my major. So a lot of things were on my plate, but... My, one of my grandparents, she had suffered from lung cancer, and she was one of the biggest fighters ever. And she fortunately was able to find out that her tumor had shrunk, and that was years ago. And even though she still had the after effects of having emphysema, like she still like fought like no other and was able to live her life. And then just like they gave me so much motivation to want to like just keep doing more. And like even though like my grandma lived like such a long life, um, despite the have, like, suffering from cancer, like these kids, they don't like they, if they find out when they're five years old that they're suffering from cancer. I mean, they they have a whole life ahead of them that, you know, it's like it's terrible to think about the fact that they might not be able to like be able to fulfill like their childhood and like their hopes, their dreams. So I think that they really like my grandparents just really motivate me to want to make a difference. And actually during Thon Weekend, I have the saying, um, never stop dancing kid on the back of my shirt because that's something that my other grandma always said ever since I was younger. And so I'm doing this for them and I'm doing this for our two amazing Thon families who have meant the world to me. I mean, this was something that I've wanted for years. I just remember when I first met um, our Thon family, the Bushes, and like just in 10 minutes of knowing them, and they not only felt like family to me, but like I knew that my purpose was to be a Thon chair and potentially to dance my senior year. I definitely am really excited to meet a lot of the Four Diamonds families. Um, you know, it's been such a pleasure and an honor to be able to interact with two amazing ones in my time in DSP. But I love that um, I get 46 hours of basically getting to see everything that Thon it like encompasses. I'm excited to see the kids playing. I'm going to be able to do the line dance all every single time. That's one of my favorite things about Thon is doing the line dance and I use them for workouts. My friends make fun of me all the time. But um, I'm excited to be able just to like spend every last moment of my last Thon in the BJC just breathing in like all the like happiness and joy that Thon brings and I'm excited to see what happens. I think like when I think of the word ignite, like I think of like just like fire, like building up inside of people. Like it's like where, you know, I just think cancer, it's such a monster. And, you know, I'm sure that families go through so many emotions when they find out that their child or their parent or their sibling has cancer. And, you know, I just think when I think of the word ignite, like I just think it's telling people that they need to like, just like use all the energy they can and all their like like emotion to like beat this to like say that like cancer can't win like and I think that the theme is just like so telling of these families and of all the volunteers that no matter what that they're willing to stand up for cancer and make sure that one day everyone dances for a cure so I'm thinking okay first of all in the dance break they have to have closer because I think that was a pivotal song this year they need to have Juju on that beat obviously they're definitely going to make mention of Harambe 
But I'm, I'm most excited for like when it gets to the final four and they do the last four years because I know them all and I have them all down pat. So I'm just going to rock it. So I guess to everybody just like watching this, um, just like really take it in. Like, you know, I mean, there's no experience like obviously being in the BJC, but for those who obviously can't be in the BJC, like just like it's so amazing just seeing the pure magic that comes out of Fond Weekend. And, you know, like from the line dances, from the pep rally to the fashion show where the Four Diamonds families come out and like show their best moves, the talent show, like ev like everything in between, like or the and the final four, like every moment is so amazing. And if you can just experience it, whether it's live from the BJC or on your TV or computer, um, it's an amazing experience and it's one of the best causes that I've ever been a part of and I'm so excited for what this weekend has to offer.